Well, I'm Brandon JW23 back again for another YouTube video. How y'all doing? If y'all already know, and also I just did a post on Facebook through Twitter, Facebook, and everybody who know me, y'all already know. Anyway, if y'all seen this video or heard about this video about this woman going completely resisted on this black guy for cranking up his car, she dropped the N bomb. You are a racist, no, no, what she say? She said something about, you are a ignorant nigga, a dirty nigga. I'm like, I'm watching this video, like, last week. I didn't post nothing up to this because I want to hear more about this information. And I finally did. So, the original video is, the guy, being a smart one, it's not like a normal nigga, well, get you know, get into pe you know, people's face and go like, what you say? Yada la la, spin your face. Yada la la, spin your face. Yada la la, smack in the face. Yada la la, lights out. Or call up his homies and stump a new hole in her ass. That did not happen. No, he was actually smart. He actually sat in his truck or his car or whatever vehicle he had. Sit there with a camcorder and record her doing every single last thing. Saying last thing, I mean, uh, saying you are a nasty nigga, you are this, and you are that, and you are this, this, that, and so forth, and so forth. You scared my kid. She said, scared my kid. Remember that. Remember that key word, okay, guys? Remember that key word later on, because this, this is going to be a twister, okay? So, remember that key word. She, he scared my kid. Remember that. This, that, so forth, so forth. The kid in the background saying, I hate black niggas. Kind of weird, ain't it? She already said it ahead of time. So, the little boy said it back. You know, it's kind of funny. But, you know, kids, they repeat stuff when they hear. So, what you say out your mouth, kids pick up on their ears. They say right back, and that's when you, the parent, Tag they butt because what you said. So technically, you need to tag your own self on the butt because you just fucked up. But that's beside the point. So that information went down, and he's still sitting in his truck, whatever. He's threatening him. Um, yeah, she's threatening him. Name of uh, Jeanette Ambrou. I think I can. I think I get her last name right. I think I don't know for sure, but it's Janelle. Sorry, Janelle Ambrou. 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 Anyway, check, you know, if you know the video, you can check it out yourself. So, this so far, everything continued happening. She called her lawyer and talking about her lawyer and talking more stuff. People walking in the background, not paying no attention to that, what's going on. Oh, no, no oh, well, Anyway, continue to carry on. This is up in New York. I think I did do a YouTube video about this. I think. If not, oh, well, if, you, if I do, go back and follow up. Anyway, so she's still buzzing back and forth, yelling. He didn't say nothing. He's sitting in his car with his camera. Being a smart person. When she started threatening saying, Oh, I wanna yank his ass out the car. He keep on putting his camcorder on me. So forth, so forth. She's like I said, she's over the top mad as hell. I never seen nobody that mad. Like literally, or well, a white person, I may say, but she was, she was steaming, like really, she was, she was, she was burning up. So, you know, she said, "Oh, I want to throw my coffee on him." Yada yada. When he, when she said that, roll went up, lock doors. I'm like, "Yep, that's a good way to do it. Self defense. Well, for yourself, keep yourself safe." You get the coffee burned, you know, on your, on your car, but hey, it won't touch you, so you're good. Okay, cool. So, since this is a new age, a new lifetime where you're living in, everything we do now is recorded on my phones. So she just fucked up. So, after that video had been dropped, her name, her address, her social security number, her credit card information, Everything has been dropped. When I'm talking about dropped, I'm talking about 
you know, it's it's on there. Everything. Every single last everything. Like everything. All personal information. Talk about your social security number, your birthday, your birthday year, your kids' names, your address, your job, credit card, bank statements, everything. When I'm talking about everything being dropped, everything is drop. Like right there. Information everywhere. I'm like, damn. That's a little bad. She did that though. Anywho, part two of this whole entire situation, some odd time later, after her whole entire life, she so called say, had been burned and crashed and all burned to hell because her ex husband about to take her kids away from her. She, I think she lost a job, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I don't know anyway. And a lot of mess been happening and so forth and so forth and, and, Wada la la la. So the DJ or the radio host was talking to her over the phone and saying what he say. He said this, this, that, so forth, so forth. If you, if you know, will you apologize to the guy if you know that that did that? And she said no. She was. She said, yeah. I would like to say I'm sorry for you almost hitting my kid and. Uh, 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 um, hit my kid, almost hit my kid, and, 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 it almost, it ruined my life. That's not apologize. Come back around a little bit earlier of that conversation, she also told her son's story. They was coming out of Dollar General. It's really retarded how they're doing this, but anyway, coming out of Dollar General, she was walking with her kid. The guy you saw in the camera, with the guy, I mean, supposedly hit her kid when he cranked up his car. Really? Really? You you really going to think and believe that somebody who came out, the, came out the store at the same exact time as you got in the car, cranked it up, and about to hit your kid, <clears throat> excuse me, hit your kid, and you come out the same exact time as impossible. Well, then again, I did, you know, now I'm thinking about it, kids can't run fast, but at the same exact time, it's impossible. The person is a smart kid, a smart guy. He didn't cause no harm, no danger. He got in his car, he cranked it up. He get yelled at. She called him a... Uh, a, a, a dirty nigga, a nasty nigga, or something like that. She said that he called her, uh, called her, a um, what was it, a um, a crackhead cracker. I'm like, okay. So forth, so forth, and then she busts out know her with the, oh, I'm bipolar, really, bipolar. That's what everybody pulling out. The medical card. Oh, I have this type of medical disease. Oh, I'm bipolar. Or I'm this. Or I'm that. <sighs> Female niggas, please. You are not that. Really. You're not. Nowhere in hell you got bipolar or any type of disease coming out of your goddamn mother womb and you're thinking you, you, you're going to Bypass by this crap. No, you 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 not. This isn't. No, there's no way in living hell you be freaking bipolar. Seriously, you say that you bipolar because you think you bipolar. But do you have medicine proof by, that you might uh, <clears throat> that you bipolar? I think not. Oh well. So, continue with the story. She said all oh, this. Now, remember I told you once before the key factor? My son said, I hate black niggas. She said, this real. She said, my son, my, my son, not, my, my kid is not racist. I'm not a racist person. My son did not say, I hate black niggas. In the video, we hear your kids saying black niggas. We hate black, I hate black niggas because you said you hate black niggas. So what the hell? So your stuff, your story is twisted, my lady. No, not my lady, but woman, you twisted all the way. Something's not right with you. You are not bipolar. You're just freaking crazy. So, 
that's the information, that's the story. Now, if you want to find out more about information about this whole entire story, or you want to go on to YouTube and talk, not talk, well, amounts do people do YouTube or Google Plus, or actually catch the real video of both sides. Check my check my Facebook page, because there's a link right there, or check my Twitter page. It's a retweet from the people who I liked and also shared the video. So go there and check it out. Remember, Brandon JW23 dot uh, Brandon JW23 slash Twitter dot com. Sorry, I was thinking two like five things at once. Uh, <clears throat> Sonic J Watkins at Brand, uh, see did it again. Dang dot uh, com slash Facebook or Facebook dot com slash Sonic J Watkins. Cause hey, I, I like I love Sonic, so yeah, it's beside the point. Anyway, you know Google Plus, so forth. You already know the links. You know what I'm talking about. Hit me, you know, hit them up. Leave your comments down below. Do you think that she's right on not apologizing? Do you think she's right for calling her uh, calling him a nigger, a nasty nigger, or something like that? Because what he supposedly did of scaring his her kids. Or kid, or you think the guy's right for not doing nothing? Because, like I said, there's a lot of times that people people don't act intelligently. They think on their first thought or their emotions, and not thinking ahead of time. So yeah, leave comments down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe. You already know. Check it out in the next video. Be safe, guys. Bye.